Hey everyone, I'm going to review what Annika Boren eats in a day. Pip's being a whiny girl, so she's gonna come in the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Her skin looks really weird. I hope you guys are doing well. Like a combination of jaundice and anemia. After Monday Thanksgiving in Canada, at least, if you're not from Canada. And, um, <laughs> it's one o'clock. Actually past one o'clock, which is bad. <coughs> I'm kind of a wreck right now. I haven't washed my hair in like five days. I'm on antibiotics. Today's my last day of antibiotics for my bronchitis. My rib is still cracked. Hi. Oh, I don't know if it's- Okay, this has nothing to do with veganism and I don't know what she's going through, but antibiotics are not going to help anybody ever in a million years. They simply destroy everything that is alive in your body, all the microorganisms. The only reason it seems that it helps is because it reduces inflammation. It hides the symptom. <laughs> you have inflammation for a different reason. It has nothing to do with microorganisms or anything. Um, I can't work out because of my injured rib. I don't feel great. And you're also not supposed to drink on antibiotics. And I've been drinking on antibiotics. I also nice. am going to... Now, what should I have? A smoothie? kind of hard. Oh my god, the pumpkin pie. Shit. Get that out of my sight. Maybe I should make a smoothie. Okay, yeah, I'll make a smoothie. So the first thing in my smoothie, banana. <laughs> Chopped kale. I can't anymore. I just did a glob of natural peanut butter. So I heard cinnamon. What is this? frozen strawberries. I don't want to be chocolatey, but I don't really have any good vanilla protein right now. This is the Vega all-in-one shake. I'm just gonna add a little... Okay, baby, one sec. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Coconut water. You're so far removed from nature and reality. It did not make very much, and it looks really gross, but... Yeah. Taste test. Mmm, yummy. Sugar. It's not horrific. Like, I'll drink it. Also, every day before I eat, I try to drink a full thing of this cup of water. You try to drink it? Four pills Don't force yourself. By Alani New. It's called like these balanced pills. They're supposed to help out with your hormones. It hasn't even been a month yet, so I can't tell you how they're working so far, but I'll keep you updated. But yeah, I take four every morning with my meal and I'm having more water. I'm gonna need more food soon because that was obviously so small. Even though there was like a lot of stuff in it, I don't know, just... God, she looks sick. So, <laughs> for the longest time I would use like a men's deodorant just because it lasted so long. I never had to worry at all about smelling. And it smelled really good, it made me smell really good, but like... Those deodorants are so bad for you. You've probably heard of like aluminum and it like clogs your pores in your armpits. Needless to say, but it's not natural to smell. If you would eat your natural diet, which is raw meat, then you would not have a smell that will put off people. Of course, if you eat man-made plants full of toxins, which you then have to detox through your skin, the sweat, then of course you will stink. That's what they smell. So you don't sweat, and that's going directly, like, your pores are like a gateway into your skin, right? So thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. Free of aluminum, parabens, sulfates. It's vegan and cruelty free, duh. It's a given, I would not work with them if they weren't. There's simple ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter and coconut oil is not good for your face, so don't get it twisted. That can cause like breakouts and stuff, but on skin like your armpits, it's totally fine. It's actually totally. nourishing. They create other stuff as well. They do like tea and deodorants and toothpaste, and body wash and soap, but What's with these with gestures all the time? So you can mix it up every day. Super nervous. Nerve damage. Free. Plus, I'm going to give you 20% off. You're welcome. And they ship free. My sister tested it on her arms and she gets... Why do you need one million cuts? Nothing. Like, she got no rest. This is just absolute she brain damage. This is what I'm watching. Yeah, the code for the Build Your Own Deodorant is Annika20. Just follow the link. It's easy. And stop smelling horrible. Like me. I'm ready to head out. I'm just going to grab some... 
headphones. There's literally no food that I want at home, which is bad. I know, like, I shouldn't buy food, but there's legit nothing I want. So I'll get something when I'm out because I'm getting really hungry because all I've freaking had today is a smoothie. What a train wreck. Okay, so before I talk to you guys, I have to eat because I'm so hungry, but I got these sweet potato noodles with, like, tamari and veggies and um, olive oil. It's huge, by the way. All I see is fiber and sugar. Okay, so this might be the weirdest, grossest looking like lunch ever. Okay, so I finished like 95% mm. of the noodles. Um, and now I'm having a vegan pot pie, mashed potatoes, and a vegan hot dog. <laughs> so Clearly, as all vegans, she craves meat. That's why she eats the fake sausage. What's the point? If you want to eat a plant-based diet, a vegan diet, whatever, then you should eat plants. If you believe that you are naturally herbivorous or anything even close to that, then all of the plants should appeal to you, in its raw form, of course. But instead they eat processed junk all day long. The noodles have nothing, no nutrients to speak of, completely pointless to eat them. Mashed potatoes again, sugar, the sausage, Absolutely toxic. Random, but I just haven't eaten much today and I know I need to eat more. Let's catch up here. I'm already full, but I'm gonna force myself to eat this. I'm a horrible role model, but whatever. So I'm very full. It's not normal to add ketchup to your food. It should taste good naturally, but it doesn't. Vegan food just doesn't. I was just sitting on the couch like, I'm going to Mexico in two days. Like, I'm not gonna work out there at all. I'm not gonna be able to work out tomorrow because I have a lot to do because it's the last day before I go. You look like you should gain um, some weight and rest instead of working out. I do a light leg workout. Borderline anorexic. If I'm pain, I'll stop, but I just want to try and I miss working out so much. Okay. <laughs> What goes through your head when you see your so-called food, in this case the noodles, and want to put a sauce over it because it obviously doesn't taste good, at best it tastes like nothing, and then a nutritional yeast because of course you used to eat noodles with cheese and now you try to imitate it to give it a cheesy flavor. But of course it's absolute nonsense and it's not nutritional whatsoever. Cheese would be, it would have the fat soluble vitamins. Okay, if it's cooked it's somewhat destroyed, but still, it would have way more than any vegan food out there. Also, the tomato sauce is supposed to imitate blood. Yes, you are still the same natural human being. You always will be, and your natural sense will never change. This is why we want to eat food that has the color red. It reminds us of meat and blood. So, it's a bit later now. I'm just in bed, tired. Yet another delusional vegan trying to imitate animal foods all day long. Because that's what she really wants to eat. All vegans want to eat meat, dairy, eggs. This is why all of these companies make these fake animal foods. They want your money. They know that you're starving because plants don't have over 50 nutrients. Your body wants those nutrients and this is why it tries to somehow make you eat those foods, but of course you're so brainwashed that you don't realize that by imitating the foods, you're not actually getting any of them. It's absolute mental illness. She's a victim, but she's also spreading it. Thanks for watching.